Hi, my name is Jeremiah Russell. I'm with Georgia Tech's 2016 Challenge Program, and today we're going to be doing another interactive video. Um, today we're going to be finding um, if this x, we're going to be basically solving, um, let me try to get another marker. We're going to be solving the limit as x approaches infinity of x minus the square root of x squared plus x. In the first part of this problem, um, we were instructed to find the limit just by looking at a graph of x. So for the first part, we're going to, let me draw this graph. Um, it looked a little something like this. Say this was um, negative 1, negative 2. It came up here, and then from here it did something a little bit like that. And that line is actually negative 1 half. So we're going to say that just based on the graph alone, that this limit, the limit is x approaches infinity of x minus the square root of x squared plus x equals negative one half. Okay, so now we're going to use math to actually prove this. Okay, so from here we see that it is sort of like a two-part um, polynomial thing that's kind of separated so we can actually multiply it by its conjugate let me try another marker. Multiply it by its conjugate, which is just this with the middle sign switched. Um, so it's going to be x plus the square root of x squared plus x over x plus the square root of x squared plus x. And the reason we can do this is because this is basically equivalent to multiplying by one because it's the same thing over the same. So the numerator and denominator are the same. So basically multiplying by one. Okay, so um, from here we can multiply that out and we'll get the limit as x approaches infinity of x times this. Um, we will actually get x squared minus this squared, so x squared distributed the negative minus x all over this, so x plus square root of x squared plus x. Okay, and this can be simplified a little bit um, to be the limit as x approaches infinity, and these will actually go away, of negative x over x plus the square root of x squared plus x. Okay, so I guess the next step for us is basically to use L'Hopital's rule, which states that we um, should take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom and take the limit as that, the limit of that. Um, and that'll equal this limit. So if we say the limit, my mark is giving out again. See the limit as x approaches infinity of negative 1, because that's a, the derivative of negative x over 1 plus, now this derivative is 1 half, and the bottom would be square root of x squared plus x, and then times the inside, so 2x. The derivative of the inside. Um, okay, and basically the twos will cancel out, and we're left with this. We're left with the limit as x approaches infinity of negative one over one plus x over the square root of x squared plus x. And my marker given that it was given up again. Um, let's try this. One plus x 
over the square root of x squared plus x. And we can actually do this limit because if we look at this like sort of as like its own fraction, um, the degrees are essentially the same because if you take the square root of a squared function or of a squared x, it'll just become an x. So they actually have the same degree, so we can actually just use our use the um, coefficients. So so actually equal negative one over one plus one, which is equal to negative one over two. Thank you for watching.